Hey guys, I'm going to teach you how to use Winamp TV as your capture source for streaming. Um, first you have to open up Winamp, free software, and uh, download a certain uh, link called Winamp TV. Google it, Google Winamp TV, it's the first choice. Go to Options and your Preferences, or Control P if you're too lazy. If you go to your input, you'll after you install Winamp TV, you'll find it in your input section on your uh, plugins folder. You just configure it. If you have EasyCap, it'll say EasyCap or whatever capture card source you have. In this case, I'm using USB 2881. It's also called KWorld ATSC USB, but whatever. I selected my capture uh, device. You can also use a webcam or whatever you want. Webcam Max, whichever. I per uh, pick USB 2881. Uh, pick your resolution, whichever you prefer. It doesn't really matter. And in Advanced tab, make sure you put the input pin in Preview. Because if you put it in capture, it'll severely uh, reduce your frame rate. Okay, press OK. Advanced. Um, you could use default overlay or VMR uh, 7, but I pr really prefer you use video, video mixing renderer 9 because using DX9 allows you to be captured on Webcam Max or whatever. Because you have to use Winamp TV in conjunction with Webcam Max. You can enable or disable uh, inter inter interlacing, doesn't really matter. Uh, this doesn't really matter too, it's up to preference. I use thin frame just because it uh, saves space. Audio, it's pretty much um, self-explanatory. Make sure you do use the digital direct uh, play by direct show because it does offer a better sound. Um, your audio source can be from anything, whether it be your input from uh, your computer or from your capture card itself. Mine is called USB EMP. Renderer doesn't really matter. It's up to preference. You can cha change out whichever one you prefer, and maybe some are better than others. Advanced options. Nothing really. Um, your capture card should already have it on default, but if you do need it, make sure you um, figure it out. I'm just giving you the basics here. Channel uh, scan is what you really need to check out. Um, Notice on all this mumbo jumbo, it doesn't really matter. What you really need to figure out is where your channels are stored. Um, mine are stored in my document settings under uh, the folder TV. Let me just bring that up for you. In my documents folder, there's my TV tab. Click it, and there are my channels, but we don't have those yet. I'm going to show you how to get them. Okay, first off, you have to add manually. This doesn't really matter. This is just for me. Um, you pick your uh, input. Of course, if you're using EasyCap, all you really have is composite. But if you have others like Tuner for um, RF adapters or S Video for S Video adapters, you can use those. However, just use composite for now and add. If you set as playlist, it'll automatically be placed in your playlist. Close. If you want to find it manually, you can just go next to the button next to uh, Channel File Names. Click this uh, ellipse uh, Choose Folder button and you can pick your channels. Um, you can actually just cue this in Winamp back uh, if you want to. In any case, whatever. Once you apply, you'll notice uh, Composite is in your playlist. Just close that for a second. And if anything goes well, you should be able to have your um, capture card ready up and running. Hold on. And there we go. Oh, that's not it. Unfortunately, that's not the right one. Sorry about that. Um, we're going to go to the file. Make sure it's called channel composite because channel 000 is obviously channel 000. Pick channel composite because that's the one you need. Composite. And there you go. You can either, in configuring your channel, you can actually change it to uh, 16 by 9 or 4.3, or 4 by 3, whichever you prefer. You can also change your uh, signal str or your signal system, as well as your volume, your brightness, your contrast, hue and saturation, the general stuff. The general stuff. Um, in recap, all you really need to do is, right, let me just stop this. Oh, let me tell you something. Um, if you do want to you notice it, my sound works. Um, you can actually uh, change your settings in your console or whichever. But if you really, if you want no sound, you can actually just press the pause button and no sound. 
because if you press pause, it pauses the signal of um, your in your audio input, not your video input, but ju just your audio input. Pressing play returns your sound. Pressing stop turns it off. In recap, go to your options menu and your preferences. Winamp TV and configure. Set up your uh, capture device, probably already defaulted. Your resolution. Make sure your input pin is set to preview. Make sure you're using VMR9 because that's the only one that could possibly be captured by WebCap Max. The interlacing doesn't really matter. Output window, up to you. Audio, make sure it's digital, up to you and the rest of it. Scanning, sc add manually. Make sure you're using composite or whichever uh, input you're using. Once that's done, add it. One is, once that is done, choose your folder and you can find your channel. And uh, that's all you really need to know in order to use webcam uh, or um, Winamp TV as your capture source for Webcam Max. I uh, hope you um, learned something today and uh, get streaming.